Minneapolis, thank you, thank you, thank you for another fantastic weekend. You guys are awesome. June shows coming up. Hollywood, June 4th. I'm at the Troubadour. It's going to be a really cool show. June 24th, I'm in Des Moines, Iowa, one night only. June 25th, headed to Omaha, Nebraska, one night only. And back at Brea, California, June 30th, one night only as well. Get your tickets to those shows and all shows at ryansickler.com. The Honeydew with Ryan Sickler. Welcome back to the Honeydew, y'all. We're over here doing it in the Night Pan Studios. I'm Ryan Sickler, ryansickler.com. Ryan Sickler on all your social media. I want to say again, thank you for your support. I appreciate everything you guys are doing. Whether you're new here or whether you're an OG, thank you for the love. Please, if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. Wherever you watch or listen, subscribe. It makes a difference. It really helps the show. All right? Turn those notifications on and enjoy the honeydew every Tuesday, y'all. All right? If you need more do, I get it. Check out the Patreon, the Honeydew with y'all. We just hit 100 episodes, okay? And I can, again, thank you enough for that support, for real. Like, if you don't know what the show is, it's called the Honeydew with y'all, and I highlight the lowlights with y'all. We've done 100 episodes now, and we've heard some of the wildest stuff, all right? It's five bucks a month. If you sign up for a year, you get over a month free, and you get the Honeydew a day early ad free at no additional cost, all right? So... If you or someone you know has that story that has to be heard, please submit it to honeydewpodcast at gmail.com. Hopefully, we get to do an episode together, all right? I want to thank you guys for your support on the tour as well. Night Pants Nation Tour continues to roll on and add dates in June alone here, all right? We're going to be at the Troubadour for a really cool show, June 4th. Des Moines, Iowa, one night only, June 24th. Omaha, Nebraska, one night only, June 25th. And Brea Improv in Brea, California, one night only, June 30th. Now, you guys know what we do over here. We highlight the lowlights and I always say these are the stories behind the storytellers. But today, we have a very special episode, all right? We just hit that 100 episodes on Patreon. So what I decided to do today was take a day off a bit. You know what I mean? We're highlighting the lowlights every week for y'all. So I brought in one of my favorite guests to sit down and highlight y'all's lowlights, all right? We're going to go through 10 of my favorite episodes. These aren't just the only 10, by the way. There are 90 more of these, and it was a tough decision, but these are 10 of some of my favorite episodes, and I'm going to highlight those lowlights with the one and only Joshua. Well, What's going on, man? Honey, dude, How you doing, man? I'm doing great. Um, I'm very excited to have you here. This is going to be a different episode. Mm-hmm. Before I explain all of that, please plug, promote everything and anything Josh Wolf. Uh well, the podcast that I started doing with my son Jacob called "Hey Man" is out, and it. I have to tell you, man, it's it's the it's my the thing that I'm. I've never had more fun doing anything in my life. This dude, like, I really just enjoy him. He's somebody who knows how to push my buttons, so he gets me in ways that other people don't. He tells really embarrassing stories about me that nobody else knows. It's like, and we just have great banter. And so I've just loved, and you know the most important thing, dude? When you get kids his age, you you think you're done spending time with them. Do you know what I mean? So this is really cool bonus time I get to have with him. I mean, I didn't realize like when I could stop spending time with my parents until my mom left and my dad died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I think they I think maybe they want to stop. I think I'm on my own. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they want to stop hanging out with me, but <laughs> And uh, and then um, just my tour dates, man. My shows have been selling out like crazy. Yeah, dude. And Congrats. my sh- thanks, man. And the show, the the energy at the shows have been insane. Comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. But in May, I'm out in Grand Rapids, and then I am in ooh Comedy on State in Madison. I've never been there before. Me either. I heard it's fun. I hear it's fantastic. Amazing. Yes. I hear it's one of the best clubs in the country. And then I'm all guys. I'm I am a bit of a road whore. So if you're listening and you want to know, comedianjoshwolf.com and Josh Wolf Comedy on all social shit. Well, congrats on all of that. I want to say this, like, and maybe you, this resonates with you, but I would say like. 
now knowing the life that I finally have starting in my late forties, but being happy mm -hmm. and content and grateful mm -hmm. and humble and seeing what I'm able to give my daughter, you know, my stepson's working with me, you know, like that to me, it, when I think back to all the bullshit and all the pain, if I would have known then, like, hey, if you go through this, this is going to happen, I'd have been glad to walk through that. Yeah. I just did it every day because I knew I fucking had to. But, man, I feel like that payoff is – and maybe you feel the same way, but how great is that? Well, you know, it, it, but it also really shows you, you – there's no success without struggle. And for those, for people who are like, how do I mix, how do I mix or jump this step – you don't jump steps. You, when people are like, I need, I, I want to be a comic. What do I do? Get on stage. That's uh, the, that's, it's the only advice I you need. Because that's it. That's everyone it. thinks, I say that, I say Get the first stage. thing that everyone asks, man, is look, you're going to think this sounds like a dickhead answer. Yeah. But the truth is, how do you be a doctor? You go to school. That's right. And you go through this program. That's right. You do this. How do you become a police officer? You do this. And you do, how do you become a comedian? You, you get, on, get on fucking stage. Because There's you no can write everything and, you want in your living room. It doesn't start until you get in front of the microphone. And also... I don't fucking know how you're supposed to succeed. Yeah. I barely figured this shit out for myself. I'm supposed to know how you're supposed to succeed in life. <laughs> have, you, have you heard anything about me? I don't know how I'm supposed to. Do not come to me with answers for you, man. I don't uh, fucking know. How do I balance the... I don't know. I don't know, I don't know you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Is it? My, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. My favorite one is when they're like, what do you think I should talk about? Bitch, I, I don't. I don't know you. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a good answer for that. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. This the, is, let me just uh, say yes, one please, last thing. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm super happy for you, dude. Thank I'm, you. Man. And, and, and uh, look, we all, everybody hits a, a period when they're out here when they're like, what the fuck am I doing? Am I still doing this in the same place, spinning my fucking wheels? And it takes deep big balls to believe it to bet on yourself and you dude is with this studio and in this podcast you pushed all your fucking chips in and i have so much respect for that listen thank you very much i want to say this i did i did and i still am yeah and it's the only way you can be dude, now it's all we can do I'm now a fucking pandemic came in and wiped out stand up yeah huh? yeah yeah uh -huh. yeah what you gonna do now I that's did. It. Thank yeah. you. And yeah. I appreciate your help and support through it. Uh, uh, dude, absolutely. Of course. And that's why I'm glad you're sitting in that chair today, because this episode today is a different episode. Mm -hmm. uh, my Patreon just hit 100 episodes. All right. That's awesome. And you and I have bared our souls enough. We've come on here and and talked about our low lights, a lot of them. <laughs> um, and today I thought it would be nice if you and I could just sit back and I show you 10 of – now, there are 100 episodes, mm -hmm. but these are 10 of, of our favorites, um, and I can show you some clips, and we just kick back and yeah, put to. our feet up and and you know highlight y'all's lowlights. Yeah. All right? That's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to show you 10 of our favorites. And why are they your favorites? Well, you just well there are so many people out yeah. there. Okay, so – I started this by just saying, look, I know we've got the regular honeydew here, but there's so many people out there that have these wild stories. And I'm telling you, we have an inbox still of hundreds of emails mm -hmm. of the craziest shit. We just had somebody email us about being an amputee because they tried to commit suicide and like put their legs on a track or some shit like that. Like it's so I know you're looking at me like that, but that's nothing compared to what you're about to see. Oh, no. Right? Nah, nah. <laughs> That's so you know how much I like weird I do. shit. Well, I, you you well, know the I stuff. Flew you in. <laughs> yeah, I flew him did. in. He did. I flew his ass in for this. And now, thank you for flying sure. in. Thank you for flying me in. Outside. Yo, listen. <laughs> you know the things that I text to you. Yes, things that I can't share. No, you know? and yeah. you're one of three people I can text yeah. things to, right? And so the fact that you have invited me, and this is I take this as an invitation, as an a, a compliment that you would invite me. To see this. So well, I can't wait to laugh with you. Yeah, so let's do it. 
We're going to go through 10 of them. Um, and the just so you know, the Patreon's called The Honeydew With Y'all. All right? It's five bucks a month. If you sign up for a year, you get over a month free. And you get The Honeydew a day early ad free at no additional cost. All right? That's the deal. And what we're going to do uh, for the next 10 weeks, beginning May 5th through July 7th, we're going to release these 10 episodes on the main YouTube channel every Thursday for 10 weeks. All right? That's what we're going to do. All right. So the first episode, ironically, was our, excuse me, the first clip we're going to talk about, ironically, was our second episode. And ironically, this woman has two pussies. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> our wait, second episode. Wait, wait. wait. Uh, Jess Danner writes. What do you in mean two pussies? It has two pussies. Did well, you, let's let's watch the clip here. Did she have one big one and just kind of cut it in half? <laughs> no, uh, uh, not at all. She had two pussies. <laughs> I know you're thinking like maybe one's on her neck. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to picture where it is. Well, she, <laughs> it's where it's supposed to be, but it ain't supposed to be. <laughs> Next to it? Nah, what? Wait, was this a bad, like, bicycle accident? <laughs> when I was 12, I was walking, it was in middle school, I guess. Yeah, middle school. I was walking home from school, and I had a really bad pain in my back. And I was like, it's got to be, like, kidney stones or something. Went to the emergency room, thought it was kidney stones. Spoiler alert. Turns out I it had uh, what's called uterine didelphus. It's two uteruses. Um, two and, uteruses. Yep. Okay, so already Double I have whammy. questions. All right. So <laughs> wait, she can have. First of all, she can have two babies. She can't have that. So what happens is in her mother's womb, everything doubles. She has two uteruses, two cervixes, two vaginas. Okay, the vagina, if you want to picture it, is almost like a, a nose, so to speak, where you've got a fleshy material in between, but you do have two entrances. So I'll never look at a nose again <laughs> the same way in my entire when you life. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> But hear me out. She has one kidney. So I'm saying like two you pussies, got, one kidney. You got two of everything you weren't supposed to have and only one of what you were supposed to have two of. Can we see more from Jess Danner? Uterus something that was <clears throat> excuse me, undiagnosed all this time, or did it did it grow inside you over a course of time where it's like, <laughs> holy shit, you grew a second uterus? <laughs> Is, is like, there, how did it go miss? Are there vitamins you take to grow a <laughs> second no, uterus? What it was <laughs> the, um, in gestation when I was being formed in my there mom's uterus, uh, it was cell splittage. So the cells that form your uterus, cervix, and all that are similar to the ones that build your urinary tract. So instead of another kidney, uh, those cells formed into... Another person. Oh, a uterus. Oh, I see. <laughs> one kidney, two. You know what? She said it. You, one kidney, one kidney two, two uteruses. You know what's crazy? I'm sure those, those cells were probably like they were they they had a fork in the road and they were like this side looks a lot more fun. Let's <laughs> 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 go where the other pussy is. Can you live with one kidney? <laughs> you can. Let's double see, pussy. Let's see what life's like with a double pussy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Poor Jess. Now, listen, here's the other great thing. I've met Jess Danner. She came to see me in Baltimore. I've met her mom. I've met her sister. They're a great family, great people. This poor girl right here. Three people, four pussies? Three people. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, four pussies. Not well. Spoiler alert. No! She's only got one pussy now. She got it fixed. She did. Let's watch. Is it fixed? Oh, uteruses. Well, the uteruses are gone, but... Seventh grade was when I first got sick. Eighth grade was when I had my first surgery. They were great um, in middle school. High school, not so much. Like they're like, oh, we're prepping you for life. You know, you gotta make sure you get your credits and do, 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 all that bullshit. But um, she was my like, mom had "Are you kidding? I got two pussies. I got a lot um, more to worry about. I got excited <laughs> in my pussy." You know how like, <laughs> teachers would tell you you can't go to the bathroom. <laughs> Woo. 
over the past. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's the face of someone who's like, I got two pussies. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy. She's like, come on, man. <laughs> Let's watch. Teachers will tell you you can't go to the bathroom. <laughs> I had a field day with that. I mean, I'd be like, yeah. I, need, I, need, <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. And my male teacher would be like, mm, you got to wait until we're done with this worksheet. Da, da, da. And I'd stand up and be like, sir. I need to change my tampon. I have two uteruses. <laughs> I am bleeding like a cut up I'd like, take your animal. Time. Like, take your time. T- yeah. Like, and I, I think you meant tampon. Embarrassed. Yeah. Of <laughs> like, including punk asses. I mean, they used to call me DP. <laughs> Double pussy. Oh, yeah. You, you didn't have to tell me what it stood for. <laughs> well, I thought. See, I'm thinking. I thought double penetration. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. She's like, no, nah, double pussy. Yeah, well, she could be a three p, <laughs> a TP. <laughs> right? So, like, d- did did the people in her school, people in high school, knew that she had? I think I would have kept that information to myself. I don't know how it got out because I feel like one guy fingers in, feels two pussies, and everyone's gonna know. Yeah, everybody, it. and he's like, "Hey, you got to get in there <laughs> because you can. Yeah, I yeah. can, and you yeah. can." <laughs> we both can. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what? I want to say she's the sweetest girl. She's done two episodes. She did a post uh, follow up <laughs> where she has one pussy. Um, great people, great family. And she was like, man, as soon as I got that one pussy, she was like out there, you know, she it, wanted to go, go yeah. went to town, you know, like, well, fuck yeah, well, try that new pussy out, girl. She didn't, but she didn't want to go got to that town new pussy with, smell. The, with the double. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> she didn't, she didn't go to town with the double, with the DP. I think she did, but I think it was incredibly painful, and she also had to go through all these surgeries right. and shit. Started wrapping around her, like she went to Atlanta for surgeries. Like this was, you know, we sit here laughing, <laughs> but that's what the show is. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's what the show is. Five it's- hours a month. All right, sign up for a year, you get a month free. All right. By the way, that episode alone is worth your five dollars. Well, that's just how we're kicking off. All right, now. By the way, I knew I was in the right place when I walked in and I just caught the top. <laughs> Y'all, I, I I just I was just looking at the screen and I said, I know I'm in the right place because it says Jeff, just Jeff the, theater. Two pussies. And I was like, this is gonna be a great <laughs> show. Home. Yeah. Home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh okay. The second one here, one of my absolute favorites. This is kind of wild. Um, how about I don't say anything about this one? This is Joe Scheller. Okay. Uh, who made a discovery on his work site. Okay. Okay. So I'm walking through the woods, uh, marking where they're going to cut down these, uh, the trees so they can clear it and get ready for breaking ground. And uh, it had just rained that day. So I'm not very, uh, I'm pretty clumsy. So I was walking and I noticed this, this tan rock sitting out and I go, well, I'm not going to step on that. Cause I'm going to break my ankle and there's nobody going to, I had to climb over a Creek to get here. I'm like, like, nobody's going to egg. It looks like a dinosaur egg, bro. About said, to be a millionaire. Gonna, <laughs> nobody's going to pull my 250-pound body out of here. So I said, all right, I'm going to step next to it. So I stepped on a stick next to it, and it popped the rock. I'm like, well, that's not normal. And I turn, and two eyes or two eye socket look right up at me. <laughs> no, hold it right there. Hold it right there. Is that a dead person? Did he find a fucking dead person? He he found a he found a skull. He found a human skull on his work site. He did. Now, but so someone put the stick under there on purpose. No, this this is this was just in December of last year. Okay. Um, and this gets wild. Let's let's keep watch a little more of this one. Oh, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Did you shit yourself or what, bro? <laughs> So I first thing I did is I, I had my equipment and I mean, this equipment's $80,000 dropped it. <laughs> I go over the wood. I go through the woods over the, you know, over this Creek and, uh, I get to my truck and I just throw up. <laughs> I'm talking all over my truck. <laughs> I don't blame him. <laughs> Check this out. By that time, the police are calling. They're like, Hey, where are you? Where are you? You know, I tell them that, one cop shows up. I'm like, all right, cool. Like, 
let's go on this hike, man. So we go through there. And then by the time we get there, and real quick, is he does he have his hand on his fucking <laughs> yeah his no. piece the whole time, wondering if you might be the motherfucker that did this? Because <laughs> I, I would, I would make you walk in front of me, and I'd be right on that bitch like this, like yeah. Uh-uh. I think when he saw the puke on the truck, he probably figured it was. <laughs> so we ended up. Uh, we got there, and by the time we got there, there's 20 cop cars. The uh, public works directors there. The whole nine is there, and the. Uh, they tape it off and the uh, sheriff come or the uh yeah sheriff comes up and he goes with his Duncan in his hand. I remember this. He won't yeah. have a Duncan. <laughs> he he wait, a donut or the cough? <laughs> <laughs> the cough. <laughs> <laughs> he left the donut in the truck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he gets five feet away from it and goes, Yeah, that's a human skull. We got a murder. And I'm like, what? Whoa. It was just crazy. So now. And then uh I want to say like the 23rd of the same month my wife sends me this link and says hey i think this is their press release from the city of the body so uh, I ended how up many days it. later uh it was like four or five so it was that next week okay. they finally through dental records and just stuff in the bone they finally got it figured out and was it a male or female who was it, it was a it was a female um she had been dead for 18 years 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 no, nobody bro, bro. nobody liked her it's a cold case he he solved. Yeah, he just solved an 18-year-old cold case. So he's walking in the woods to land survey. Sun's coming up. It's in deep woods, Illinois. And he steps on this stick and a fucking skull turns and looks at him. And he hauls ass. He throws up. He calls the his dad first. And I go, hey, just is this a fucking like, yeah. is this a land surveyor's wet dream? He's like, yeah. So he calls his dad, and the first thing his dad says is like, "You lucky son of a bitch." Why? <laughs> like, why is that's it? what they're always wanting to see. They all. They, he said you, they find a ton of animal skulls, deer, all that shit, or whatever. Got it. Got it. Got it. But the fact of is they're always wondering if they're going to see a body. So he said he was also scared because in his mind, the killer was still right there in the woods. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though it's a skull. Dude, yeah, I, don't, I don't blame him I either. either. I'd have oh, been out yeah. of that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been like, you know what? I'll call for my on my way home. So it turns out that this woman was murdered uh, 18 years ago. Okay. And this, the reason he's there is surveying the land because they're about to build like a strip mall or something. Mm-hmm. In a few days, they're going to break down. And if he doesn't step on this fucking stick and that skull doesn't spin around, the bulldozers roll right over it, push it deep down into the earth, and then this never happens. Did they arrest somebody for the crime? Well, let's listen. Like a cold case for real? <laughs> yeah, it, get, it gets better, man. It gets better. Good for you, dude. <laughs> I love the, this goddamn uh, show. <laughs> go ahead tell me more please the boyfriend was already in jail for her disappearance and they actually found the the bullet in her head that no. could match to his gun no yep. hold it there it was still in the skull they picked it up and shook it and that fucking bullet that matched his gun was still in the skull now they got him for murder and this is just before christmas wait it, the family gets it closure was 18 years ago but he was in jail with- he was in jail f- for her disappearance they had enough on him for the disappearance but not enough to charge for murder so they got the guy but like is disappearance against the law i mean if you have dna and shit on you i would say it probably is I mean, I'm high, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to guess if you murdered somebody, it's probably not if, the only thing they got you Yeah, on. that's probably right. <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's not squeaky clean anywhere no. else. No, no. Yeah, I agree. Yo, that would be crazy. I, I see. I am the opposite of that. I absolutely do not want to find a body anywhere. I don't either. Nah, no, no desire. But if you're a land surveyor, you might want to. I guess. I mean... I think he he thought he wanted to too, and old Joe was Until like, he threw fuck up on that. his fucking. Yeah. That's hilarious that he threw up on the truck. <laughs> this Patreon solving cold cases, y'all. Yo, that, five dollars a month. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Is there more to that one? Okay, dude. Now speaking of crazy, this is <laughs> this guy. His name's Mike Frampton. Uh, we call him the Death Janitor. And Mike's job is a guy that comes in and cleans up the crime scene. Okay. So let's say you're an old, older man that doesn't have any family and you die in your home. Mm-hmm. 
and you're not found for another three months. Mike's the guy could they be. call. Could, okay. Yep. By the way. Yeah, could be. Yeah. <laughs> Mike gets the call. Mike gets my phone. Okay. Mike finds me Let's in my room. Let's check out Mike Frampton here. All right. Since you said gross, what's the grossest? Like, if you're saying it's gross, I got to believe it's fucking disgusting. I mean, so they're what's all the bad. They're yeah, all I'm bad. Sure, yeah. So uh, that's taking, a given. Like, Dumpsters of like used diapers out of houses and piss jugs and shit like ga- like hundreds of gallons. So like it, what, it's what all gross. But well, so we had we've had hoarders. Um, mm. and once you hoard yourself out of your bathroom, you got to find a place to put stuff. So you start pissing water jugs, which aren't made to hold piss for more, more than a couple months, and then they break. A couple not months. <laughs> A couple mo- what do you mean they're not meant to hold piss for more than a couple months? They're not meant to hold piss <laughs> at all. They're not supposed to have piss in them. They don't make milk cartons be like, this one can hold piss for a couple this months. Right here. Max. Right here. Yeah, yeah, they're not meant to hold piss. You know what's meant to hold piss? The fucking yeah, toilet. toilet. Yeah. yeah. And outside. Yeah. yeah. But and outside. Not, yeah, yeah, you know, not a milk carton. Yo. The outside <laughs> holds piss better than anything. That's the best holder. This is the best pee holder going right now. But also, if you're pissing in milk jugs and you've backed yourself into a literal corner, it's the only place you can piss and shit. You're, well, let's see. Where is he shitting? Oh, piss. Uh, you pee in a pop Is that right? Yeah. Urine breaks the plastic down? Well, in a water jug, because they're meant to hold water, right? Mm-hmm. But a uh, uh, Coke bottle's good because they're meant to hold like an acidic drink, right? Pee in that one, right? So Look at this, um, dude. But yeah, we've done so many of those where you just end up spending three, four days just dumping hundreds of gallons of piss. And oh, uh, God, a lot of the dude. decomps, uh, if they're really bad, like if they're weeks long, you end up shitting the next morning. And smelling decomp in your shit. No! <laughs> I was waiting for that no! one. <laughs> That's my reaction. Hey, guess what? <laughs> I quit. <laughs> That's, as have soon you as I ever. Sp- have you ever even thought of something like that? Dude, if I smell You smell decomp in your shit. If I'm if I'm if I'm shitting dead body. I am calling in my <laughs> resignation as it's coming out of my asshole. This is the call right here. You ain't here. getting too weak. Dude, this is what you're saying. I quit. That's what you're hearing on the phone. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go. Like, Dead body nah. in your mm. shit, bro. Zero <laughs> chance. Is he still work there? What the fuck is wrong? Well, I blame you, man. Like, this is your own problem. <laughs> Kirsten, point. please. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you spilled <laughs> yeah. that body in your shit. Well, so I've had a couple guys that I've got to work with me <laughs> call me the next day and be like, bro, what the fuck? And I'm like, what's up? They're like, I took a shit this morning. I was like, yeah. And, he, and he's like, Something it smelled like crawl yesterday. Something did crawl up and you would die, motherfucker. <laughs> it's so Kevin. I really do feel like I'm taking a couple of these motherfuckers around with me, you know? Get so. out of here, dude. You can like, smell we're it. I'm not like bathing in it. We're but you can up. smell like, it in your feces. Dude, you can smell it for three blocks in some cases because they're nope. so bad. Oh, so like, I dead mean, bodies. No, dude. Oh, no, no, I'm in it. I don't, there's, that, there's thousands of flies flying around. There's sludgy, gross dead guys laying. By the way, like when the the sweater he's wearing <laughs> as he's talking to this mother, it's just so cheerful. And he's got like a four-year-old painting on it. <laughs> His, listen, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a happy-go-lucky <laughs> person. Here's what's crazy. He's, well, I don't want to ruin it. I'll save it for the end. I'll tell you what happened. Okay, go ahead. You take between 60 and 90 pounds of bones, even if the guy was 500 pounds, because the rest of it melts out. Oh, is that, yeah, you meant by the the is that what you yeah, meant by the puddle? Is that what you meant by the puddle? Yeah, yeah. So out. if you're on the third floor, you're in the basement if you're in a house. If you're in a, a apartment, as long as you don't land on a seam, which has happened, uh, you, you puddle out. Um, if you go on a seam, we had a girl call us because she thought the guy's sewer above broke and was dripping out of his apartment because she was on the third floor and he was on the fourth. And she was having, uh, she was in bed and uh, it ended up being. Uh, a dead guy, and he finally like leaked through his bed, leaked through the <laughs> seam in the floor in the concrete, <laughs> and it was dripping on her back while she was sleeping. Yo, first of all, first of all, what? Yo, there. Are, yo, I'm gonna need some new skin. Like I can't. I, I, 
There isn't enough. Yo, there's not enough soap. Not only that, who do you sue? Do you get to kill somebody for that? Like, what's your... What's your You're dead juice fucking dripping on my back. Who, on my back who, in my home. Who do you get to get mad at for that? Do you know what I mean? There, you can't even... You know the worst part about that? You can't get mad at no, anybody. There's no, nobody... The only person to get mad at just dripped on your fucking back. God is so crazy. How crazy is that? Well, let you me smell ask you. dead body in your shit, and dead bodies can drip on you. Which one? Oh. Tell me which one sounds worse. <sighs> Knowing that the dead body was inside you, or that it dripped on you. What do you mean by that? Would you rather smell it in your shit or have oh, it come oh, through the oh, roof? Oh. Oh, God. I feel like I'd rather smell it my shit me for too, some reason. Me too, me I don't too. want that actively on. Yeah, once it touches me, I'll never forget that it was on me. Do you know what I mean? And even if, if it hit my shoulder, if someone went to touch my shoulder, I'd be like, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't, I, wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't touch that part of my head. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Oh, I've seen dude. Walking Dead. Oh, like, that seems God. real. Yo, if some dude exploded and gooped all over... I don't. These are the guys I'm talking about, like these older people that don't have any family or anything, and then they just die up in their bed, and then the guy is laying there for weeks, and then your body just breaks down, and for so long that it seeps into the mattress and through the box spring and onto the floor, and then through the floor, like weeks, and then it's actively doop, 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 dude. Files a month, y'all. <laughs> Sign up for a year. You get over a month free. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, do a day early at free at no additional cost. All right. I, I, listen, if these three clips haven't well, here's the here's the beautiful thing. These are just clips. You are gonna get these full episodes for the next ten weeks in this order we're doing here uh, on the regular free YouTube channel. It, it all right? is so. Oh, that's the first three. Dude, all right. That's uh, that's a tough one. That one. The tough one. How do the next door neighbors not smell? Like something's gonna smell, right? Yeah, but maybe you live out in like Nebraska in the middle of uh, nowhere, and, and it's just fucking you. mailman finally smelled yours. Oh, Who knows? Dude. Who knows? If a dead guy dripped on me, I'd never get over that. All right, now is, are we done with that one, Kirsten? Okay, this next one here. This is Andre Sfida. Andre Sfida. Uh, this is different. This is uh, some crazy shit here. This was um, this was a cliff fall. Andre fell off a cliff. Let's take a look here. So, mind you, I've free climbed this one spot before, but I had two other friends with me now. And that was like six years prior. So I'm thinking like, I've done this before. I remember this wall. So I'm like, I'm climbing up comfortably. I'm doing great. I get to like this one spot where I can chill out, catch my breath. Just as soon as I get uh, start going back up, I get a little bit higher, a little bit higher. And right at the top, I'm crawling over the top. No. And it's... It's like you're there at the top. Yeah, I was one foot on top of the fucking thing. No. My arm, I'm, I'm literally wrapped around the boulder. I'm just getting my foot around and my arms just let go. I don't know what happened, I, w whether it was the wind, my muscles just gave out. But it was like time stopped for a split second. It was like that. And I remember just looking around and just saying fucking slow motion because everything just started to go slowly in front of me down. How are you falling? So I have the rock wall in front of me and I'm holding on. And as I let go, I'm just literally like this far away, like this far away from the rock wall. Just I'm just trying to grab on to things. I'm pressing my feet into the wall. Oh. And as as I'm it's just a straight down. Like I went up the side and went around to the to, to the overlook. So it's just a straight down. So I'm just sliding down, pressing, pressing, pressing. And I remember at one point I hit this wrist against i'm pretty sure a boulder or something a tree but i didn't think anything of it sliding i land on my feet right come land. on what what do you mean <laughs> you think your knees everything above he ain't done he ain't Wait, done your hips everything's just gonna pop straight out right smack down right on that ground just Boom. And everything like, like who's the superhero drops in like that with the arm <laughs> who's yeah, that that drops in superman like, yeah. yeah not this dude <laughs> no. This Andre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh shit! Let's watch a little more. He's gonna tell you what happened. Standing up, right? I feel this like this cold metal feeling go from my foot up through my body and out my head. Right? You fell how far? The whole sixty feet. You fell sixty fucking feet and landed on your fucking feet like a cat. Yep. 
<laughs> what now, are the fucking odds of that? I land on my feet, and my first instinct into is like, <gasps> take a deep breath. I'm like, all right, I'm alive. That's the first thing I say. I'm alive. Let me grab my phone. I pull off my string bag. I pull out my phone, and I see that my phone is cracked in half. Because I, I guess it hit it going down on going down the wall. It smacked the side of the wall and just smashed. So I didn't think anything of this. I sat down. And then when I was sitting Wait, down, he's not like hurt. Weird... He's not. I think this is the beauty of adrenaline. <sighs> yeah. He's the... Now, listen, he's in the wilderness, not not Griffith fucking park. Not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not run your gang. This motherfucker's by in, himself. Yeah. With no phone. With a broken phone. And he's just fallen 60 foot off a fucking cliff and landed on his feet and felt electricity and coldness shoot from his feet through the blow out the top of his fucking head. And now he's sitting down. I mean, did his knees come out of his shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Watch. So I laid down on the ground for a second. Once I laid down, I could I was lifting my neck. And that was about it. My whole body was non-responsive. Paralyzed. Now, He's a quadriplegic. In the meantime, I'm laying there and I the start to feel like this, like this warm on my head. So naturally, uh, I start to feel around and I feel like this divot. And I kid you not, I stick my finger up to this knuckle oh, into my head. You, Whoa, you fingered you his own skull in your head that deep? Yeah, Wait, so when I landed, pressure? I guess the Listen. shock from when my foot connected with the ground traveled through my body and blew out the top of my head. Blew out yeah, the top of my head. Get the fuck out of here. Pause it. Pause it. Curse Get the... He <laughs> literally blew a hole in his own skull? What the fuck? <laughs> Is that possible? Uh, I questioned it. I felt maybe there was a branch that could have yeah, poked yeah, it or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing. Wait, it I wouldn't think you'd even live from that. So no. I don't know. Maybe it is possible that the force of that shot it up in your a small, small part of your brain. Skull, excuse me, said, fuck it. And, and then he off. fingered his own head? <laughs> yeah, he, he was it. like, he's fucking got a finger inside oh. his skull right now. And he's a quadriplegic. Okay. Well, he can't be. Well, no. He's paraplegic. Paraplegic because yeah. he's got his arm. Can't move his legs. And he's about to fucking lay there in the wilderness and all it, night with a broken phone. Is there a little more of that? Wait, so what I need to, I need an ending to this story. The ending to the story is that he spent the night in the fucking wilderness by himself and I was like, "Were you scared to death with a broken back?" Everything, broken everything. And he was he in a wheelchair? Yeah, he recovered. He fully recovered. Yep. Fully recovered? Yeah, what about that hole in his head? I think some hikers or something found him the next... I don't know. You got to watch the episode. You got to watch the episode, man. Yo. The I hole would've... in his head is questionable to me. I kind of feel like he hit some, a tree on the way down or it, some shit. Yo, if if that... If like a little... Like if that's possible... But if... But a 60-foot fall... It's a six-story building. You just fell straight down and I then... Wonder, on your feet. I wonder if that's the best way to fall if you're going 60 feet. Versus just like flat. Or on your shoulder or... I don't know. He made it. Andre made it. By the way, it all sounds pretty terrible. I just might turn it over and go face first and get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of face first and get it over with, this next episode really? is pretty interesting. This Dude, is that last Zoe story Smith. Is fascinating. Yeah, they these are they range from all different kinds of shit. God. This is uh Zoe Smith. And uh well, let's just watch this clip. Zoe actually made a conscious decision. A guy decision. that used to rent one of the houses on the property that we live on. Okay. He moved out and was still sort of vaguely a family friend. So it wasn't like we were important people in the wedding. We were the ones that I just invited. You know how there's like- But you didn't take a date about. with you? No, I took okay. a friend that okay. didn't know him at all and we were just hanging out. All right, and so you meet this guy. Yeah, I met this guy and we were sort of talking with a group of people. And my ex-boyfriend was also at that wedding and me and him were good friends. And he saw that I liked this guy that we were talking to, and he had gone to school with that guy because I was 19, and my ex-boyfriend and the guy that I met um, were both seven years older than me. So he was like, hey, I know him. Do you know that he's gay and he is HIV positive? And I was like, I don't really care because I'm 19 and I'm dumb and I don't give a fuck about it. You really it. did have the attitude of I don't care? Well, when he told me those two things, he's gay and he's got HIV, the one that pissed me off the most was that he was gay. I was like, damn. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, damn it. There goes I, my I like shot. That guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, fuck, I really like that guy. And um, 
And then I was like, oh, well, we'll just be friends because he was funny. and he So was, you like, believed him, though. You didn't think he was cock blocking or trying to derail. No, 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 you, no. you really did believe him when he like, told We're good friends. Okay. And he, he said it. And I know that he was just trying to be like, hey, by the way, that guy's crazy. So, like, you know, beware. And I thought, oh, well, who cares? I'll just be friends with him. Like, he'll be my fun gay friend because whatever. But obviously, I still was into him. So we started hanging out that wedding was in like September, which in New Zealand is spring. So it was like the beginning of the summer. Um, and then that whole summer we were hanging out and secretly I was like, I really like you. You're really hot. And I want to, I wish that you weren't gay. And then we got drunk, hooked up, hooked up. And I was like, Hey, I thought you were gay. And he's like, Hey, like, you know, wait, 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 is that, so, is that all? This is just, I'm not gay anymore. This is the sign for I, I, I'm not sure what the sign is for that, uh, but it might be, hey, you just had sex with an HIV positive yeah, person that's that the next knowingly one. Uh, without caring. So let's see what happens. But, um, he just, we just started hanging out and hooking up. So we were hanging out. We'd have a good time. He was but hold like, on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I know I'm stopping yeah. you because nah, go for it. you know he's HIV positive. Mm -hmm. and yeah, but I'm dumb. And I, I'm that's like, fine. Yeah. Look, we all are yeah. at that age. We all have made plenty uh, of mistakes. Uh, I mean, that's a big uh, You can hold on there. Uh, hold, hold it there, Kirsten. Uh, listen, when you're 19, you're like, hey, I'm going to shit in this parking lot dumb. You're not, hey, I'm going to fuck somebody who has HIV. <laughs> With AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to step in. Like, I did dumb shit when I was 19. You know what I mean? Like, I would grab a six pack of beer and run out of 7 Eleven dumb, you know, yep. but not be like, let's see if I'm going to die. Well, tonight. see, that's the difference. It, <laughs> is, I guess it all matters of what you yeah, think yeah. is dumb. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay, all right. <laughs> we were a lot dumber, but smarter. Yeah, you know? I think yeah. so. I think so. Are you having an open dialogue about it at all, or are you just not addressing it? Are you ever asking him? Are you ever asking if, hey, maybe this I time we should put a condom on or any of that? The thing is, is that it was so, this is going to make me sound really pathetic, but he, it was so hard for him, for me to get him to be into me that when he was into me, I was like, let's not ruin this with like clinical. With AIDS. With, yeah. <laughs> with death. Let's not ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> With certain death. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. How about that? So she didn't get HIV. She did. She did. Do we have that part? I don't know <laughs> if we have that part. Let's see. <laughs> I was like, let's, let's not, not ruin, ruin this vibe. moment with AIDS. Yeah, he's fucking, yeah, totally. I was like, I don't want to ruin this, what we've got going on, because this doesn't Man. happen very often. Yeah, and oh, so I was like, so dumb, and like, yeah, it makes me sound really dumb. And in hindsight, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? So yeah, she's she got it, because that's, I say on the show, that's how it works. Yeah, that's, it. that's how you get it. That's how it works. Yeah, that is how you get it. You have... Unprotected sex with a person who's HIV positive. Yep, that's exactly that's how, how it happens. happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's HIV positive. She doesn't have AIDS, but she's HIV positive. For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. I started taking Spanish in eighth grade. They made me take it up until like 11th, and that D brought my GPA down. Still got out of there with a 3.0. Suck at Liberty High School. Now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. I started taking Spanish. I've been wanting to take it, get that D up to a B. And actually, mi espanol is muy excelente. Plus, Babbel speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and your accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, you can save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash honeydew. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash honeydew for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life.
You guys have been hearing me talk about the How to Buy a Home podcast for a while now. So whether you've already started looking or even if you haven't considered buying a home yet, you've probably heard some horrible headlines. And the good news is listening to the How to Buy a Home offers a clear, concise path to navigate the entire home buying process. How to Buy a Home host David Sedoni answers questions like, how the hell do I do this in 2022? What if I'm not ready yet? How do I even start? Can I buy a home with a 600 credit score? David has helped make buying a home a reality for so many people. Check out some of his interviews like episode 71 with Randy, a honeydew listener who had no job and zero credit a year ago. Dude just closed on a $200,000 three-bedroom home on a half acre after contacting David. And David can help you no matter what stage you're in. He can even connect you with a great realtor in your area. Get the latest on the How to Buy a Home podcast and make this the last year you rent. Listen to the How to Buy a Home podcast today. Find How to Buy a Home on YouTube and wherever you listen to podcasts. Now, let's get back to the do. That is, I I have to tell you, I bet... I bet you she's one of like four people in the history of the world four. who was like, you got your HIV positive? Yeah, what the fuck? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't imagine we're in double digits for that number. It better be the best piece of pussy uh, I ever had. I mean. Because it should be the best piece of pussy I never had. Now, this is the question, though. Are you getting Magic Johnson HIV? Because right, that, yeah, right. I mean, that's... That... I don't know. I don't think so. It sounded like it was Australia <laughs> <laughs> or New Zealand. I can't remember now. <laughs> All right. This next one here. This one's a little bit of a wild card. This is my girl, Randy Kioski here. Randy Kioski uh, actually made history. Uh, she was the first female uh, in a gang that she was part of in Chicago. Ran that for a little while. Was like... You know, she was the first female ever in that gang. Initiated in and mm-hmm. allowed to be in that gang. She made history in the gang world and like un- in the underworld, they knew her. Uh, and then she transitioned out of that world eventually, and now into a BDSM dominatrix. Let's take a listen to Randy. Oh, she's got the best story. Tell me ever. what your job she's in are Nashville. When you're I believe there. she brings you in, and you're a dominatrix yeah. apprentice at this point. So, what do you have? What do you do? So the first day that I was there, I I um, got a guy for five thousand dollars. She's like, "This is a big ticket item." Like he, you know, we talked about them like they were cattle. Mm-hmm. And so he wanted to be branded. So I had to get this iron hot, and and fucking brand him on his ass. Dude had a wedding ring on. I'm like, his wife is going to see this and be like, why is there a big K (laughs) branded into your fucking ass? You know, but yeah, that's what he wanted. That was my first day there. First First day on the job. Hold on, man. First day on the job. She must have gone home like, what the fuck else? And pay you. $5,000. $5,000. I've been learning about these, I uh, think they're called cash pigs or something like this. These are guys that want women. Yeah. To, they want to spend money on you. Like, that's what they get off yeah. on. That's their fetish. This dude is coming in to get something on his ass that's going to, that's also, it's a, that's going to hurt for a, a long time. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. A long Sitting time. down is going to be a problem. Not a tattoo. This no, is going to be a fucking thing for a minute. I, my, I got so many questions. First of all, like, I mean, how did he pick his brand? I'm so curious. I don't know either. I really yeah. want to. Know. I like, mean, what? I'd like to talk to that dude and be like, "Yo, man!" But but <laughs> if the first day was branding, you must have gone home like, this, "Oh, she must have gone home either thinking I can't do this or this is going to be the best job." Well, ever. I don't want to spoil it for you, but Randy leans into it. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot so of this guy, pegging. let me just say again, a lot of pegging, guy, pegging. We're a lot that of it. Like, this <laughs> guy gave you five thousand dollars just to brand him. Yeah, I mean, I like pissed in his mouth too. But the big <laughs> main thing that he wanted was to be branded. <laughs> the main <laughs> thing was branding. Wait, that's an aside. Pissing in my mouth better be the main <laughs> motherfucking thing on the menu. Yo, if that piss- ain't no warm up. You tell me, pissing in the mouth is the appetizer? <laughs> I would have said piss on that hot ass yeah, brand yeah, back yeah. there and pull it off, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> pissing on your mouth—that's the hummus. That's not even the full. That's, that's the bread, not the meal. Bro. That's, <laughs> that's the garlic bread. <laughs> that's the garlic knot. <laughs> Pissing in your mouth. Yo, she said that so <laughs> casually. Yeah, I mean, she had me pissing in his mouth, but that wasn't the main thing. Uh, what? 
<laughs> well, there's more, Josh. There's more, Josh. Do they well, drink it when they piss in the mouth? I, I'm probably, probably. I don't know how you don't. <laughs> I love this motherfucking <laughs> show. <laughs> and I, I do love five dollars a month. <laughs> oh, what do you mean you pissed in his <laughs> mouth? How do you piss? He just lays down. You just stand over him and piss in his mouth. Yeah. Why yeah, does she say just, so matter of fact? Like, she says it to I me just, like I'm the weird one. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you squatted for... over him like he was a toilet and pissed in his mouth and told him he was a fucking piece of shit and to drink my piss. And, and he drank to it. Gargle it. There's your answer. Yeah, I said gargle it before you fucking drink it, you pig. And then he did. And then he's like, "Thanks very much. I'm out of here with my sore ass." No, he wasn't allowed to say thank you. I didn't want him to. It, I you speak when you're spoken to. If I don't ask you a question, you don't fucking say shit. Get I mean, the there was a lot of road buds, which is like the anal prolapse. There was a lot oh, of that that uh, happened. That's when one of those videos. You I said, get, you know, your fist <laughs> in all the way up to your elbow, and then you pull out really quick, and then you would your punch ass. the prolapse in, and then you would ring stop, around the stop, prolapse. Stop. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. She would pull it out real fast. She'd put and then her she would... arm in your asshole up to your elbow, and then she would pull it out real quick, and it'll suck your ass out. That prolapses, and then you punch it back in. I think Rocky did that in Rocky <laughs> <laughs> And all the Rockies. Yeah. <laughs> that was his training, I think, right? He couldn't afford a real gym, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's if it was a combo movie of Rocky in Philadelphia. Like if they did a combo, like Rocky. Wait, there's more to this. There's How more. How could there be? <laughs> oh, there is. Sometimes, you know, there's more. Laps <laughs> like a donut. You'd ring around it, and it would it would kind of bleed, but it would be mixed with lube. So it would be lube and blood, and the smell of that smells like it's plastic. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you telling me that you have shoved your fist? You've punched your fist up men's assholes? Oh, yeah, as hard as I could. I mean, I know <laughs> about prolapse anuses because of Tom Segura. And, exactly. you know, their touch. Uh, but I didn't know. I, I didn't know. I just thought that was something that happened if you overused it. I didn't know you could actually overused take somebody's ass home. Yeah, like girls would do anal porn and got shit it, like that. Got it. Well, what happens is, is they can overused strict it. around your, your arm. This so they, they tighten up like they're doing like kegels, you mm -hmm. know? Guys, like where else are you getting feet. fisting a guy's asshole up to the elbow, prolapse in his anus for five dollars a month? Over a month free if you sign up for it. Yeah, it's five. Oh, yeah. It's five. <laughs> it's five thousand if you go to her. It is five thousand. And and I'm like, okay. And then I pull it out. So when they tighten, that's what suctions around your arm, and that's when you pull it where, out. Because where it's are you learning how to do this? <laughs> what's what's training do you have? To learn how to yank a man's ass. <laughs> She's got an answer. It's just, it's on the job training. Yo, on the job yo. training. She's practicing on your ass. Yeah, she probably, she probably did it wrong a couple times. Like, what does that look like if she does it wrong Ooh. a couple times? She said it, one guy, she couldn't get it back in. She just couldn't, and they have to call an ambulance, and then they come, and, and you're humiliated. They take you out of a BDSM place with your asshole out. You're probably holding it like this on a stretcher yeah, next to you. I wonder if they put it on a little stretcher next to you. <laughs> or a pillow or something. A little, little pillow. A little asshole pillow. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. This is, I'm going to give you a heads up now. This one's a little difficult. All right. Uh, this is. <laughs> What does that mean, difficult? This is Mike Farahani. He took sleep meds, and one in like 15,000 can cause priapism, okay? What is that? A prolonged erection. You know, when you see the Viagra, like, if you have an erection, yeah. it longer. Okay, well, he's only trying to get a good night's sleep. He's not trying to get his fuck on. He's yeah. just trying to get his sleep on. So he took these meds, and it's rare, but it happens. Some of these meds can make your dick hard for hours. This guy's dick has been hard for Kirsten. Do you remember how long? That yeah. sounds terrible. And he's now at the hospital to get it. Just fucking everybody. Taking care. <laughs> <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Who's coming in next? <laughs> 
Well, he's in excruciating pain, and he is now at the fucking emergency room to get this taken care of, okay? So she does this for about an hour. Every five minutes, I get a new injection. But she actually hits the glands this time. The cap, cor, cap, cap, I remember this angle. Every five minutes? Yeah. So every a, minute. Dozen, a dozen shots in your dick to try to get this thing down. So they're yeah, trying to pull the blood out. Oh, wait a second. He's got 12 needles in his dick to try to get the blood out of this fucking engorged wait a second. sausage he's got. Okay, I got, a, I got a couple questions. Go ahead. He's going to answer them for you, too. Well, for, my first question, he's he in a lot of pain. Does it hurt to have a heart on for that long? Yes. It's excruciating, he said. He said it felt like it was going to just blow up. Well, And you can't just jerk off? No, it didn't help. I'm sure he tried. He tried everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Piss it, all of it. Trying anything he could. And so- That's the, why he's now at the hospital. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's not your first choice. You're right. That's the, you're not like, I got a heart on. Time to go to the hospital. <laughs> you're right. It's definitely you're not right. your first yeah. choice. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I mean, after hour three or four, you're like, man. Yeah, I got to go somewhere. I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know about this, y'all. I Get just, some pictures of it because it's bigger than it's ever been. But Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh yeah, if you're on Tinder, that's your profile. Yeah, bro, pic, but you, you gotta, gotta go to the house on the wall. Yeah, you mean this this pic on the fridge right here? Yeah, that's my dick. That's my dick. Yeah. Wait. Okay. All right. Let's watch. All right. Okay. Because oh, he he gets um, into it. Yeah. And if eventually, but here's the. <laughs> All because you wanted to fucking sleep. <laughs> That's what I'm yeah, saying. Not because you wanted to get laid. Not because you're out there popping these things. No, being man. some kind of playboy. All because you wanted a good night's sleep. This is yeah. so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Man, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, dude. Okay, go ahead. So now you've got a dozen needles in your dick. The reason that picture is so gnarly. Is so that their it, surgery? It's what I want to We're going to show you the picture. Yeah, so okay. this is their aftermath. The reason that picture is so gnarly is I didn't realize at the time they're not capturing the blood anywhere. The little tip of the needle they put in the syringe, there's no syringe. They just put those needles in and just let it drain. And oh. it's just going all. It's just well, going they're not all pulling it out. Or anything. They're just po and no, that's right. They're not pulling it up a syringe. They're just poking it and like holes in it so that it just shoots blood out and relieves itself because it's it's about to explode. Explode? Do we have the pic? Do you want to show the picture what now, or you have it set for the end? What would happen if they didn't do that? I'll show you. Oh, it, did it explode? Oh, he sent us a picture of it. So get ready for this. Guys. But did it? Had it exploded? No, they were just trying to fucking get it. Not. <laughs> Dude, that's all from it. Yo, that looks like a terrible sandcastle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at <this>. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wowzers. Whoa. Holy shit. Yikes. By the way, this is not the only time it's happened to this poor motherfucker. Okay. He did it again? Well, so we're gonna listen. Let's see if we got it more of it from Can him. you Do send me that more screen from him? <laughs> Yeah, well, it's gonna be in the it's gonna be in the post. <laughs> It's just spraying out. No, it's, it's yeah. It's first it sprays and then it just drips like a like a faucet. It will drip, 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 drip. So they're not capturing the blood. Is he and awake? The, here's the problem. I don't. It's remember. not staying down. So. Listen to this. Um, they they completely drain it and they they literally squeeze the blood out. They're grabbing the top. The needles are like way a sham well. Oh, so they're grabbing the top oh, and just they just squeeze the blood bring out. it out. Then they let go <laughs> and I can feel it just. Right back up. Wait, they drained all that blood out, and your dick still went. Hey, up? by the way, you, you know part of the just a little bit of them was like that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I picked the game. Oh, a little bit I'm of them. Letting go now. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Where's the blood coming from that yeah. that's pumping it in there? The 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 blood vessels just aren't constricting enough, and it's just, they're just wide open like a fire hose, just allowing blood to come right back mm. in. So they start simultaneously aspirating the blood out and injecting the, the phenylephrine in. And finally, they're like, I'm like, can I have some water? I'm dying here. And they're like, we can't even give you water because you might need surgery. And if you're under general anesthesia, anything in your stomach, you'll, you have the potential to throw so he's up. He's awake. He is awake. So I'm, finally, they're like, okay. Some local. Oh, and simultaneously, they have to flush it out. So they're injecting saline into Ready? it. 
Mm-hmm. And it's crazy. Like how it's many like a, fucking needles yeah. are we talking <laughs> yeah. about in this procedure? Dozens? It sounds like dozens. 50, 50 60 sticks. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> 50 sticks in his yeah, dick? In your dick no! <laughs> no! Yo, at one needle, I'll be like, I'll, I'll take my just chances out there. Just trying to get some sleep, yeah, man. Just wait, why did this happen sleep. to him more than once? Because he took, what he didn't realize is the first time, I think he took some medication and it happened. And then after like a couple days or something, maybe it went down and then he took it, but he didn't put it to that. And then he took it because he was taking other medications. I I may have this wrong. Okay. And then he did it a second time, and that's when they linked it to the the sleep medication. Now, now, oh, you it's five dollars a month. You could ask. It's five dollars a month. So if you I, sign up for a year, you get over a month for <laughs> the needle in the dick. Yeah, bro. Because watch the episode, you'll see the rest of it. You know what hurts a lot? Those local anesthetic needles. Yeah, they do. The the so, prick. Yeah. So he had to get. A bunch of those. Yeah, to, to get 60 fucking needles in his dick. Mm, no. Again, I need something to get mad at. Like, who can I get? There's no one to get mad at. You the, just got a unlucky dick. Unlucky dick, bro. <laughs> now, speaking of unlucky dicks. No. Uh, this guy, this one's a wild. And this is one of our more wild stories for sure. Uh, this is Dan Batiste. Uh, da- uh, before- have you not been paying attention to the first six? What do you mean I more have. wild? We've done seven, but I have. Seven. Yes. This one is, well, you'll see. This is Dan Batiste, and Dan is making a purchase. He's a heroin addict at the time. Okay. Um, and he's making a purchase in Philly in the open-air drug market back in, I think it was the 90s. All right? And this was his experience going to this particular deal. Was it like a farmer's market? It was sort of like, <laughs> I mean, kind of. They were like, put it over in this fucking neighborhood and we don't give a fuck. No that shit. That sort of Baltimore, Philly style yeah. shit. Like, hey, do it over there. Leave everything else alone. Okay. So Dan's I remember going to get his fix. that day, I went and I bought my shit, dude. Okay, so hold and on. Let me set this up a little more. He clearly hasn't so stopped he's smoking already, weed, by the way. <laughs> it's not weed, bro. His heroin, he does. Still? I, I mean, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. So Dan buys his drugs normally from a guy named Gordo. Okay. okay. So Gordo is a, a dealer who uh, he goes to see. And Gordo is a big fat dude in a beautiful suit. And he's got like a 44 or a Desert Eagle. He had a Desert Eagle, I believe. He okay. Said. And he wouldn't do... Uh, he wouldn't fucking flex on you in a way, like with the gun, like show it to you, everything. He would be like, Poppy, look at this. It's beautiful. Nickel plated. Look. Right. Just to let you know, I got this motherfucker. Right, right, right. He doesn't need to be like, yeah, motherfucker, what's up? Right. Nothing. Just letting you know, I love this fucking gun that I have on. And me it works. It's always loaded. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish I could see it. I want to take it for a drive. I got a Ferrari in the garage. You know what That's I mean? That's right. Let me know. Letting you know that this is present. And. What happens is every time you go buy drugs from Gordo, there's a resident crackhead that stands nearby. And after you buy your drugs, when you turn around to leave, crackhead's like, hey, can I get a little more? And everybody's like, get the fuck out of here. Okay. So these are the three characters involved okay. in this story. I can't right? wait for this one. I remember that day I went and I bought my shit, dude. And I remember walking away and then fucking Jerry walking back and forth. Jerry's the crackhead, the resident crackhead. I remember him passing me. Like he walked right by me, fucking head down, just going for it, dude. As I'm walking away, I hear, hey, motherfucker. And my head goes, oh, fuck, did I not give him enough money? You know, because you just fucking, here's a stack of money, give me my drugs, and then you beat the fuck feet. Dude, I hear, hey, motherfucker, and all of a sudden, I hear, as Jerry is running at me. And I got, are you understood? Okay. All right, so hold on here, Kirsten. So I thought Jerry had already ran past him. He did, but now Jerry's running away from. So Jerry's past uh, Dan, walking toward Gordo. Okay, I'm Dan. I'm turned around. I'm walking this way. Jerry's coming at you. Right. I'm still walking away, but now Jerry's coming back, and Jerry's walking the same direction I'm walking away from Gordo. Okay. Got it. Yep. Yep. So Jerry's 
right between Gordo and me. You follow? Yeah. Yep. All right. I turn around, dude, and I look, and all of a okay, sudden. Okay, stop. So now I'm looking at you. You're Gordo. Yeah. I've turned around to see why Jerry, who's coming running at me. Jerry's facing me, and you and I are facing each other. Are you with me? Yeah. All right, here we go. I turn around, dude, and I look, and all of a sudden, his fucking face is all over me. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. What do you mean? His, he shot him in the face? <laughs> Did you just say his face is his all over His face you? is all over me? Dude, Gordo shot that motherfucker in the back of the head, and his fucking face just went oh, <laughs> all no! over me, dude. Yo, no. I need a free, <laughs> Yo, Gordo, I need a free bag for that. <laughs> yo, he gave me a facial for real. <laughs> yo. Yo, yo, you you put Jerry's face on my he face? He shot someone's face onto his face. Fuck no. <laughs> oh, I'd still be doing heroin then for sure. We're not yeah. done. Yo, oh. ain't done either. <laughs> We're not done. Yo, what? We're what? not done. Dude. <laughs> oh, there's more to the story. Well, what else could happen? No. Fuck well, are I you talking about right now? Hold on. I You're telling me that you thought he was talking to you, so you turned to see, and he shoots this guy's skull apart, and it splatters all over you? What the fuck? Oh, my God. Holy shit, dude. But by the way, if I... Happy Tuesday. Holy shit, dude. If I didn't have a drug problem before, I would now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude. I mean, you're lucky the bullets shot- didn't go That's through healthy. him and hit you. Right? The fact that I didn't get shot that day is insane to me. What? Ryan. Do you know I'm what t- happened? Why? Did he try to charge Gordo? What the fuck was he, he doing? F- he, dude, he went up fucking... Was this suicide, suicide mission? Pack. mission? Oh, I just... Wow. Dude, he went up, asked wow. for a pack. Took the pack and fucking booked it. So he stole it and the pack. Running up the ass street. trying to get away. Uh, Gordo. Gordo's not a runner. Right. He ain't yeah. a runner, bro. He's like three bills. <laughs> That's right. Gordo's not a runner, yeah, but he but, told but you. But that Desert Eagle can fly. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm like? <laughs> Yo. And he shot that motherfucker in the back of the head. And it sprayed and on the, you. Dude, I literally picked fucking <laughs> hair brains and skull fragments out of my fucking everything for like 20 <laughs> oh minutes. Oh my dude. god. 20 minutes. Holy shit. Did no. you get it in your mouth? Listen. I don't even remember. <laughs> yes, probably, you did. Yes, probably. Listen, you, listen what I don't he says know, about dude, it. Dude, I just turned around and all of a sudden some dude's <laughs> dude, and I remember yeah. it. Listen I remember this. it in slow motion where literally like all of a sudden you see a face and then it just goes bleh. like oh, the inside God. of his head played peekaboo Fuck with him. God, and just you just fucking, saw it disintegrate dude, like that. <laughs> dude, dude, disintegrate is not the word for it. What happened to his eyeball? <laughs> what if an eyeball was like to hear what he says? It smelt. Did we? Let's see if he says that. It's <laughs> not the word for it. Dude, the shit that a 45 magnum will <laughs> oh, do to the magnum, front okay. of somebody's What's, face what he said? Yeah. when it comes through the back is something I wouldn't wish, dude, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It, Dude, it it covered me from fucking head to toe. No, I was covered no, in no, blood listen, and no. snot, snot and brains and hair. <laughs> I ran the two That's blocks back to my car and I sat there for an hour and a half waiting for the cops to come. P.S. Doing heroin. Yeah. <laughs> Shooting up in the car with someone's shit all over him, dude. Well, by the way, I would have done, shot the heroin too. Are you kidding me? Whatever drug I had in my pocket, I, I can't decide what's worth. Dead guy dripping on me? Uh, dead goop? That's worse. way worse. A drop, a, a drops of dead goop or blood, brain, snot, hair, skull. Something Snot's when I knew it was real. There's something and he about said dead it goop. smelled like pennies. Yeah, he that says sounds that right. Too. And if you want to hear what happens to the rest of it, he, oh, he's not done doing heroin, and he ain't done with Gordo either. There's I more lo- to that story. I love the fact that he waited for the cops, but was like, I might as well shoot up. <laughs> uh, while what am I going to do for y- the 20 minutes? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Dude. All right. 
Now we gotta go. We're gonna go a little lighter here on this one. Here, this one's just a fun, really fucked up one. I'm uh, trying to picture that in my head. <laughs> yeah, because first of all, yo, good shot by Gordo. Thank God, right? Yeah, thank God. Good shot by because I think it, it probably goes through other parts of his body into. I don't know because I don't know what gun it was. I'm over here joking. He says 45 mag. I don't even think that's real. Yeah, but again, it might be. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It was powerful enough to explode his face. And I know when you say snot that you're fucking, yeah, yeah it's, that's, that happened. Oh, my God. Um, so this one, this is Zek Johnson. Uh, Zek had an interesting story. His mom, I don't know how much we have set up here, but his mom and her girlfriend were a one-two punch. Okay, basically, they'd roll to parties together. And um, his mom, Zek's mom, would tell um, her partner in crime literally look i like josh josh is hot and then they would fucking roofie you and then you would go lay down because you're not feeling well in a bedroom and then zach's mom would come in and she'd fuck you okay why why wouldn't she just try to fuck me <laughs> that's a great point <laughs> but also we don't know what zach's mom okay looks yeah like. good point good point good point and by the, way, she by the way it's it's <laughs> It's, we already saw somebody get AIDS on this show. On purpose. You know on purpose. <laughs> it's Zach, not Zach. It is Zach. It's Z-E-C-H, I believe. Zach. Yeah. Zach Johnson. So uh well, the, she as anybody who names her kids Zach probably does that to people. So his mom was obviously not a great mom right, to him. Right, and right. he's sort of trying to work on things now. I imagine. And, and and they go to this little party together and uh he's not feeling well. He's not feeling well. So he goes to lay down at this house. Now here's the thing. Did he, the partner in crime roofie him? The partner in crime roofied the right guy. And he went to lay down in the back, the last bedroom all the way down the hall. It's like a three or four bedroom house. He's not feeling well, legit for some, from being shit-faced and blackout right. drunk. So they put him in the first bedroom down the hall. Oh, no. Well, you know, when you're a drunk looking just to fuck... She ain't going the extra mile nah, down the hallway. No, she's picking door she's number picking one. She's picking door number <laughs> <Yeah>. one. <laughs> and let's see, Josh, what's behind door number one. I open my eyes, and but it's still like kind of hazy. You're not sure what's happening. And all I see in front of me is just this pair of tits. I the mean, tits I, are out. No, is tits that his are mom? out. I mean, I'm talking not maybe six or eight inches from my face. I mean, it's just tits. And my first, Rick, my cognitive thought is. Oh, my wife's trying to do a little something, something while we're here. All right, let's see. And I and I'm slowly trying to like collect myself to it's get myself right. in that. Head. Oh yeah, and then I start feeling my my belt buckle kind of get fiddled with. You know that kind of like. First of all, pants. your mom oh. already took her titties out, and your belt is <laughs> yeah. not. She's not even got you undressed yet. She is ready to go. Oh my! Now, in, in all fairness, God. the room is dark. It don't matter. Is, I mean, your mom's no, ready yeah. to go. Your mom's it ready. It doesn't matter. It, does. well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. Oh, your mom's ready wow. to go. So he said, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm I met getting, him I'm in Nashville. Like, well, dang, girls get amorous. Let's let's see what happens. The next thing I know is I just hear the door wham slam open, and I the lights go on, and you like kind of feeling when you're dark from light, and you're kind of mm -hmm. stunned for a minute, and I kind of look over and I see. My sister and my wife over her shoulder. Oh my! Just like, what the fuck is happening in this room? Wait, Bacon his mom is on top of him with her titties with her out. titties out and his belt buckle on. Oh <laughs> no! Yo! Oh! <laughs> Yo! I have got at to a party, not at the house. No, wait, at a party where by the a way, bunch of people are. I think anywhere. It's not great, but that yo, know, you got to be at that next Thanksgiving. Like, yeah, what's I'm up? Like, hey, <laughs> you see the titties, mom. <laughs> nice titties, mom. <laughs> Ever been in a fraternity or sorority party like this? Have you? <laughs> this is American Pie on oh steroids. Stifler's God. mom was loose, <laughs> and she was on the prowl. Wait. So what happened? Oh. So I, I don't. Now, admittedly, I don't see my my mother. I just look over and see her, and all I hear her yell is, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, wait, there's her and my wife. Who the fuck? And I look up, and it's my mother. Oh, my just, fucking. With her titties she, she, out. 
with the titties out. Holy. Uh, <sighs> that's not, I can't. So, a- and she's looking at my sister already. She's looking dude, at dude, me. I- what does the next birthday card say? <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll wait to hear his mom's response. She's, uh, she's going to listen. If anything, she's a woman of her word. Yeah. She's going to fucking, she's going to, she has to respond to this. I, I mean, how could you not? Yeah. I'm like, oh, well. And she, and mom, uh, I, I recall mom saying, and she's like, what the fuck are you doing in here? Get out. <laughs> she's not done. Yeah. Man. Wait. Mm-hmm. And my sister goes, do you realize who you're trying to fuck? And kind of points at me. And she's like, yeah, Steve. And oh. kind of sees me and goes, Well, that's not who I expected, uh, but um, <laughs> I'm just here to get laid. No. <laughs> no. Titties out, too, no. bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. But did he do it? <laughs> I mean, was he like, hey, shut the door. We're here. I'll tell him. Tell that's him what your mom said. I'm just here to get laid. <laughs> My God. Dude. What the fuck? Titties out. <laughs> Titties are out. In front of his wife and, and her own <laughs> sister. But, but I mean, she, she hasn't jumped off of him. No, she's still sitting on him. Yeah, yeah. Titties are out. Her titties are out. <laughs> saying that I shit. The lights are on. The lights, the lights are, are, on. are on. Everyone. And this more dude's got people are more slowly. Yeah, of course. You know, from from they know what the fuck's going on back there Yo. with Vicky. She got her titties out again. Oh, yo! How do how do you recover from that in a in a? I told him straight up. I said, "No disrespect here, but you look like a guy whose mom would try to fuck him." <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he disagrees. <laughs> Because he is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the look right there. Yeah, because that. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. This is number ten here for you. Okay. Yo, th- yo. I- does he have a relationship with her? I mean, he almost had an intimate <laughs> one. <laughs> well, how do you recover from that? I don't think you do, dude. I don't think you do. Um, speaking of how do you recover from that? Wow, you're teeing me up nicely here. This next guy, this is Ian Woodford. Okay. This guy is in, you hear him, he's in, a, he's in a dump truck. He's doing his job. Another truck's coming the other way. But that guy's got a red light. Our guy here, Ian, has got the green light all the way. And they're not sure if this guy was texting, if he fell asleep. Mm -hmm. They don't know. But this guy's coming at him full speed in a crane truck. All right? Dump truck, crane truck. Let's listen. Full speed ahead, both. I'm I'm in a full-size dump truck with a trailer with a full-size excavator on the back. Do you have a load in the the truck, too? Yeah, I had some gravel. Okay, so you have gravel and back when we had the computer low. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I was coming down the hill, and um, there was a lady. So, like, you're coming down State Street, and there's a road right here, but it's it's only a right-hand turn or left-hand turn. It dead ends into a cornfield. There's a lady waiting for me to go by. There's a guy in a crane truck coming trucking down the other side of the hill because you go down in this valley. And I don't know. It's never been proven, but everybody, even people at his company, say he was texting and driving. He says he fell asleep. Um, but, uh, he, I guess, slipped up, seen her, clipped her. The best thing that could have happened in the whole entire world that day was that we pushed her. She's like some just right out of high school girl in this little focus. She would have been demolished in between those two trucks. Oh. So he clips her driver's side tail light and pushes her into the field and then hits me straight on his crane comes through takes off this side of my face all the way back to my ear what, what? my what? my steering wheel cuts me in half what <laughs> yeah the stairway patrol said i easily hit over 100 g's they marked me as uh, dead most of the reports say that wait I his face that side of his there. face still moves this guy had a train cr- 
tr- <laughs> crane truck come through. And as he explained, slice the side of his head. It flops over like deli meat, he said. Everything's exposed, and he dies. He flatlines. The fucking steering wheel that cut him in half, what happened was he hit the steering wheel so hard. I've never even comprehended this. He hit the steering wheel so hard that it pushed his rib cage through his back like his skin it was exposed it broke through the fuck like get the f- compound fracture rib cage going through your back okay through your back he's not done he's got more injuries than that a lot more to my door open and you know how on like a big dump truck a diesel truck like that the fuel tank the diesel tank is part of the steps to get yep. in yep that wasn't fucking there man so i go to get out oh, and the steps no. are wrinkled up like this the steps are wrinkled up comes right through me and out and cuts up through my liver. Wait, oh, and by the way, all wait, my hold ribs on, came hold out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait Dude, a fucking wait, second. Right, yo. How's he walking out well, of the truck? I don't know how he's walking out of the truck. Because he's got deli meat on the head. Yeah. He's got somebody, Incredible Hulk, punched him in the chest. His ribs came out the back. And now he's falling off this thing and it sliced him up into his liver. Oh, my God. He's not done. Did you just say all your ribs came out of your back? Yeah, I forgot to say that. <laughs> You know what kind of injuries you had to have. Yeah. Oh, you. I bring, forgot about that. I forgot the time that rib, my rib cage went through my back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. It popped a hole in my head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were right. Yeah. How do you forget that one? That's trauma, dude. Listen to this. I told this story a lot, man. So, wait, you're telling me that you don't remember, obviously, but just force a habit. You kick the door open and you're about to step down. That's why your body is dropping so quick. You're expecting a step to be there. I guess. I don't, like I, said, I don't remember. I just, and that no, thing's but, bent up and it's fucking just slices you. Yeah. I go to step out and I fall and it, cut, go, it cuts my liver right in half. Good. It comes God. right through, comes straight up and cuts me in half. And that's now here's the thing about this guy. He looks great there. Yeah, I told him I go. You look great, and he's like, "I am. I'm Frankenstein." So there, the underneath the hat's not great. Underneath the shirt's not great. Not only is it not great under the shirt, you don't really recover from your rib cage being shoved through your your back. I would and, think. Uh, we have some pictures of the accident here. I'm going to show you. Um, so this is if you take a look here. This is the accident here. That's his truck there, Kirsten Jesus. Circling. This is the crane truck over here. You see that crane is out right there. You see that. And this is his truck. He's in the full-size dump truck. Look at it. Ripped the front of a dump truck off. That bro. crane went right through the window. Right through the window where he's sitting. That's his seat right there. All right. Oh, my. Now, look at this. This is the steering wheel God, that, that punctured his entire rib cage. All right. Now, we're going to start to see. Uh, some of the injuries. So that's that's a minor scrape compared to uh, what we're about to see here. So that's his torso right there. <laughs> that's nothing, though, dude. That's another part of it. They're put, they put mesh and wire in there to, to rebuild him. Uh, and then let's take a look at that. What, that's, what, what is that? Well, that's what happens when you don't have... Is that have... the second pussy? <laughs> <laughs> what a call! Man. What a call. That's what it, that's what it looks like from the first <laughs> episode to the end. That is what a stomach looks like when you don't have a rib cage. All he ha- he doesn't have, excuse me, an abdomen. He has no abs. He just has the stomach. You see, that's a ball right there. What do you mean he doesn't have? He does not have ab muscles. Where did what? Where they're, they? They're sh- shredded and destroyed when that steering wheel hit him. They're able to save his stomach, so he can still eat and things like that. But he has no. Are there any more than that, or is that it? Yeah. So that's what he has left. There might be even a more graphic one. Was that? Is there a more? Is was there another one up on the Patreon post, or was that all of them? Okay. Yeah. That's what his stump. So he's he's bandaged up. Like he has to every day. He's wrapped. Is you know he what I mean. Pain meds all the time. And that's what he said. He he flatlined. I believe a couple times. This dude died. It was one. I, one of the things I really wanted to do when I started this was talk to somebody that had gone through that. So he's got a daughter. I believe. I know he has a child. He's married. Um, pre or post. I think pre, and they're still together. Or at least they were. Um, but that was a thing. He hated the pain meds. Uh, but the only way he could function was to be on him. So he's trying his best to try to figure out how to live like that, not on so many pain meds that yeah. make him not him. Yeah. You know, his brain's still there. He didn't have brain damage or anything what like that. What about the deli meat? 
deli meat just, just he got it lucky. Back up? It just sliced the skull and and skin, and it didn't hit the brain. It just dude. massive, dude. That's yo. That. So that's what the Patreon is like now. Because I love you and I love this show. And this Yo, show's I'm gonna five drive like five miles an hour out of here. <laughs> this show's five dollars a month. You sign up for a, mo- a year, you get over a month free. You're getting a honeydew a day early ad free at no additional cost. And um we're gonna give you a bonus clip. All right. One of our favorite guests, he's a repeat guest. We've only had a couple. Ironically, one was the girl with two pussies. Um, but this is Mike Frampton again, the death janitor, who this time came back and gave us a little bonus story. Oh, uh, see now, I'm not sure where we start with this, so let me see where, where we are with this, Kirsten. But this one, it was oh, a train. Okay. So hold there. <clears throat> so what it, this is Mike Frampton now. He's changed his look up a little bit. Definitely He's, has. Yeah. Also. This is winter, Mike. He has opened up a donut shop. Oh, he's that's since, nice. He's since stopped doing Death Janitor, calls his donut shop tragically dipped. Doing well out there, too. He's By in the Canada. Way, that's <laughs> awesome. Is, Congratulations, dude. Know, for real. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Going from cleaning up dead, disgusting yeah, shit dude, you to made making a, people fill in their belly. You made a great career choice. So he told a couple of stories. He, he actually had gone uh, some animal ones. He had to have animal removes, uh, shit like that, uh, but removal. But... Um, he told a story about a guy who uh, uh, committed suicide. So he's there was a kid at the University of Toronto who jumped off his dorm or a parking structure and, and committed suicide. And he's laying on the fucking sidewalk of the campus. Okay. They call our boy Mike Frampton in to come clean it up. And they're like, hey, how long is this going to be? Because we got a mental health march coming by in an hour and a half. And he's no. like, listen. <laughs> no. Yeah, he's got to clean it. The dude's a march. Slash. Oh, no. <laughs> so that is... Uh, and you I, know the people who were in charge of the march. I mean, somebody was like, hey, listen, I got some news. Could be good, could be real bad. <laughs> it's real fucking <laughs> yeah. bad. Somebody committed suicide in the middle of the march. We're just trying to clean up the body. So you might want to think of an alternate route. And he's like, I ain't getting this up in 90 minutes. No <laughs> way. This is a body splattered <laughs> on I'm not just picking this thing up and moving it. Yeah. It's splattered <laughs> on the ground. So this one, this is another... I would say ironic okay. suicide. Okay. But this one, it was a Via train and the guy got hit and launched. He was a young guy and he had headphones in supposedly and he didn't hear it supposedly. My opinion is when the gates are down and stuff is flashing and even if you have rock and rap or whatever's going on, you can hear and see all of this stuff. So I think it was still a suicide because every other time I was there, it was a suicide. If you get hit by a train, you didn't not see the train. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was next. Um, it's a really good point. But this guy got hit, launched into a sign, which I still have in my shed. This dude uh, is the best. Yeah. Uh, nostalgia purposes, I think. He's like fucking know. Dexter. More of it is shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's a sign that got bent in half, and it's very thick metal, and it was the 1-800 number for the mental health <laughs> It's all goes. Wait, hold on now. And it cut this guy's head right off. <laughs> he got hit, and the way he hit this sign, he bent You're it. You're telling me a dude committed suicide. He jumped in front of a train. With train the suicide hit, sign. Hey, train hit him so hard, it fucking threw him into the suicide sign, and the suicide sign cut Put his head out. off. That is not out. only. That's like a not weird commercial. Cut off, not only yeah. cut his head off, but the bottom of the post, like those metal posts that they put the signs on severed his leg and he was wearing work boots and his steel toe boot went like 300 yards down the tracks and through one of those warming rooms and blew all of the glass out of it. No way. Like a fucking, like a, like an action movie, like, and it blew like, I think 17 panels of glass out. Holy fuck. Yeah. What a way to go, bro. (laughs) Yo, that dude, he's up in heaven like, well, wait, we yeah. have, let's take a look. We have a photo to show you. Dude. Yeah, we got a bonus photo Yo, for this, you. This is like. There's the oh, sign. Oh, no. This is the sign that took his head off and severed that the fucking is, leg. Yeah. By the way. He has it. This dude, need to talk? Need, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose your head. Call us. Yo, <laughs> Yo, this dude has a good sense of humor if he kept this sign. 
He kept an open donut shop. Man. Yeah, I, that sign should be up in the donut shop. People should be like, why is that up? Don't worry about it. Dude, thank you. This is this is the episode this week. Thank Cheers. you for doing this. It was nice to have a, a a week off, so to speak, and highlight y'all's lowlights. So this thank was you, Joshua, for amazing, being here for this. Dude. <laughs> amazing. Thank I you so much. I appreciate it being you, dude. Thank you so much. Appreciate Please you, promote everything you'd like again. Uh, the podcast with me and my son uh, called Hey Man, which is a fantastic podcast, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. I'm in uh, Grand Rapids and... Um, I forget where the other place was in May. Grand Rapids. Oh, and Madison on State. There it is, Madison on and, State. And uh, ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates, Josh Wolf Comedy for everything else. Brother, thank you so thank much. Thank you, dude. And thank you out there. If you are interested in the Patreon, and I hope you are, it's five bucks a month. When I'm telling you, we don't do levels or anything of that. If you sign up for a year, you get over a month free. You get the honeydew a day early, ad-free at no additional cost. All right? Uh, and beginning next week, every Thursday... For 10 weeks, you're going to get a free episode. These 10 that we went over today, maybe we'll do 11. We'll see. But you're going to get those full episodes on the free YouTube channel. And if you're interested in the Patreon and you want to support, I appreciate you all. So please subscribe. You can get all the info at ryansickler.com. As always, Ryan Sickler on all social media. We'll talk to you all next week. <laughs>